You're in the mix with Battle and the Gang on American Lunchbox Podcast. Now, now, Chris, that's that's a call to action to our listeners to be proactive in their efforts to f- seek the truth. But the reality is, is that some people can't handle the truth. Some people don't want to hear the truth. Some people want to be able to move forward. And I believe that a lot of the American people, both Republican and Democrat at this point, are looking ahead. But here's the problem. On my GPS system, when I'm driving, I have it set to a British voice because, you know, it's sexy. I like I, I like I like that British accent, you know. <laughs> You know, my mate, I, I like that British accent. I have my thing set and I'm, I'm driving out to the mountains to work my other house up in Glendora. And what happens is, is that on my GPS, what it does is it gives me a indication that there's an accident ahead. And it gives me a choice of another destination where I can go to in order to avoid that accident. Now, I could do one or two things in that decision making. I could say, I don't want to get off my route. I'm just going to see where it leads me. Or I can get off my route, take a detour, and go around it. And this is where the thinking process takes place. One person will say, well, you know what? Uh, I don't want to. I'm not going to. But what happens is, is that this may be a clog in the system. So what most people will, will do, if this actually, which I don't know if it will, happens to taint the process or reverse the process in any way, form, or fashion, no one would be able but mainstream media be responsible for not giving the information, but each individual, unfortunately, will not take the opportunity to drive through it. They'll take a, a route around it. They'll look like it never happened or And this is the problem with the responsibility. Now, I may be preaching to the choir or no one will probably listen. But the reality is, is people, you got to know where the hazards are. And Trump is a hazard. He is a (laughs) hazard. If you don't want to know your enemy, if you don't want to understand what your enemy is doing, that's your fault. I, as an independent, listen to both sides because I want to understand the, the path to take that is going to be easiest for me and my family, myself and my community. So I say to you people, the people who are listening, the people who are going to take this information, much like Chris, seek out the information. But if you don't, I listen, I'm not going to judge because I get it. We're sitting here talking about information that may not even be relevant in two weeks. we got a whole show dedicated to this garbage. So... But at the end of the day, I have to be responsible. I have to be responsible. I have to be responsible. I, do I want to talk about this shit? No. Do I want to continue to talk about this? No. But I'll be less of a, of a podcaster. Person who says they do, you know, who reports on the news of the day and culture and shit. I'll be less of that person to be able to sit here and tell you guys that this shit didn't happen. And you shouldn't be aware of it. 